Pivotational series. This is day number one here. I'm unstable. Real people will be joining me for the casting today. He is, of course, over in the United States. We haven't had a chance to bring him here yet to the FX Open Office. This is a little bit of stuff we slapped together to just give it a test out for this for this tournament. If we get good feedback about it, we'll upgrade it later and see how we go. Now, of course, we have eight sets coming up today. Starting off with Marine King Prime versus Quantic Sase, and then it just gets better and better from there on, guys. So. Do remember, FX Open doesn't take any profits from these tournaments. Every cent earned goes back into them. If you want to see the next one, FX Open Invitational Series go up in prizes, feel free to hit the subscribe button down there on Twitch TV. Doing so will actually give you the, the chance to run into prizes such as these Razor Gear signed FX Open jackets by one of our players or the whole team if you want to. There we go, get it the right way up. Of course, replay packs of your choice. You want Linux CVT replays? You can have them. You want Oz PvP replays? You can have them. And also, of course, the grand prize of 10 days in the FX Open House. You do not have to be a pro player. You do not have to be, you don't have to be anyone, really. You can be a casual just wanting to hang out, semi-pro, wanting to get better at the game, see how these guys actually practice. We do have Korean-speaking guys in this, so it's not going to be an alien world, too. You will be able to have a lot of fun. Food paid for, lodgings paid for, the only thing we don't do is cover the travel expenses because it's really hard to budget whether you're coming from Europe, USA, Southeast Asia, etc. Now, keep in mind that draws for the prizes will be done at the end of each game day. You do not have to be online at the time. We do have a list of every single one of those subscribers that we can look at in real time, so don't worry about that if you're not online. We will be messaging you anyway. Now, Twitch TV subscriber module is recurring. We will be sending out a message to everyone who subbed up to cancel the subscription if we do not go ahead with a second FX Open Invitation series. But that all completely depends on how successful this one is. Usually about week two or three of the tournament, we'll find out if we're going to go and do another one next month as well. So it's up to you guys to bring everyone sub up if you want to have a chance to win all these prizes, as well as no ads in the subscription package as well, and you will be helping support this entire event. That being said, let's get into game number one, Marine King Prime versus Quantic Sase. Let's see it. Hi, we are FXO Team. You are watching FXO TV. And here we go, let's kick things off here for the FX Open Invitational Series. We are back after a long hiatus. I am Unstable, joined here by Railcoon. First up though is going to be Quantic Sase against Marine King Prime. And yes, we do still have very, very bad habits of picking inappropriate names for our tournaments. But it's getting <laughs> better and better as we go along, okay? So, we'll start this one. Hey, we one. didn't know about this one. It wasn't intentional. <laughs> but, uh... As we go, we got Sase down here at the bottom left as our green Protoss, of course. And then Marine King, the current def two-time defending champion of the FIS series, is going to be Marine King Prime. So, Marine King always does well in our events. I was saying in my prediction in the live report thread on Team Liquid, you can check those out for every single match of the day, that these two have played each other quite a bit before. Uh, I believe it was Marine King took out Sase in the CPL, and then... Sase has gotten a pretty good ladder record against uh, MKP at the same time. So both these guys know each other's play styles, and we'll see how we're going to like, adapt to that. And regardless of Sase's pit, like, just absolutely skyrocketing skill level since he's been in Korea, and his amazing PVT, Marine King wins our events, so I can't really bet against him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely have to be favoring Marine King right now, just because there's something about the FX Open series in which Marine King, he gets that extra power level, he goes Super <laughs> Saiyan, whatever you want to, you know, attribute it to. But TVP, as always, is being crazy right now. The only thing that's stable is the fact that the players are metagaming the crap out of each other. Um, there's been a lot more gasless expansion things going on. Well, that being said, that's not what Marine King's doing. <laughs> yeah. So, so we'll see what Marine King chooses to do because he, he's setting off this wall off, you know, very standard, deny the scouting. And you can see that Sase didn't even try to scout. Yeah. Because, well, I mean, most of the time you're not going to get in anyways. Mm -hmm. So he's just getting a little bit extra minerals early on. Well, he can always later on check. He knows the timings of when a, a one racks expand with no gas is going to come down so we can possibly scout at that point in time. Uh, we do actually have a factory down here for Marine King. 
instead of a tech lab on the barracks that you sometimes see with the reaper openings and at the same time Sase has gone for his one gate expand so we are probably going to see some aggression coming from marine king very shortly and it's going to come down to Sase if he can hold it off. Uh, a very common situation in this matchup recently. A lot of players have been getting quite a bit of practice against all the different variations. The key for Sase is going to see which type of variation pressure is going to be coming in here from Marine King because he needs to get that unit composition correct. Yeah, and Marine King did drop a second refinery right after he started that uh, factory. So he's moving up to the higher gas levels here. Mm -hmm. We'll see. He could be going straight into a starport because this is an opening that looks quite a bit like a 111. And he has positioned his SV down here, yeah. And I mean, we're on dual site, it's a small map. One of the things you can do is that all the players are doing all these crazy things with their builds right now, so you can move back to something really simple, like a 1-1-1, and just, like, try and kill him. Mm -hmm. Well, that starport's about 50% of the way down. Sase now just only scouting with his first probe. And it looks like he's going straight into that natural, so he's just waiting to see if that's going to happen. Because regardless of whether there's an expansion there or not, He's still not going to be able to see the main, so he knows that. Yeah, he doesn't even get up the ramp if you look at that, so he doesn't even see the buildings up there. He doesn't see the add-ons. He only saw three marines firing at his probe, so he got absolutely no information right now. You can see that he is adding on a robotics facility. It's going to give him a lot of options here as the game moves on, but uh, Marine King is just massing up these marines with the reactor. Big surprise there. And making <laughs> Hellions out of his factory one at a time. He's got a Medivac just about to pop out, so it looks like he's going to start off with some early pressure, and then we'll see if he adds any tech labs on after that. Well, Sase does have a probe down here at the watchtower, going to spot this coming very, very quickly. And Ooh. this could actually work into his favor by trying to bait these units into where he's going to be positioned for them. Uh, at the same time, that Medivac out on the field makes me believe that there's going to be a flank coming out from Rinking as he picks up the Hellions right there. That is exactly what I was going to happen. As he can... Harass down here at the natural, pull all of Sase's units out of position and go in for the drop up in the main. And it looks like it's what he's doing here, but the, no, actually the dropship Ooh. comes back. Nice force fields by Sase. He's going to catch a lot of those Marines, and Marine King looks like he's going to go home. But no, he's uh -oh. actually going to continue Hellions. in with this harass. Oh, the Hellions, he's completely out of position. At the same time, Marine King has added a tech lab onto both of these, but he's going to get pretty good access to Mineral Line, forcing all of these probes to have to come off the line. Good reaction from Sase. He's minimized the damage up to this point quite nicely. Oh, but look at this. The medevac's getting chased down by Sase, but some of the stalkers are out of position because of it. He's going to get right in the natural. Oh, my God. This is doing way more damage than I expected Unstable. Yeah, I think it's doing more damage than even Marine King expected. Going for that medevac is a good idea, but not when it pulls your units out of position and leaves your natural open. And it looks like Marine King actually got... 16 worker kills, and he's going to be following this up with tanks, banshees, and of course the raven that's come out now as well. And uh, to be honest, I don't see Sase doing well against this. You need as much economy as you can uh, to defend this kind of thing in the first place, and losing that much is just too much deficit, deficit here. But he is actually moving across the map. Maybe he can delay this by putting some force fields on the ramp, but it looks like Marine Team's coming down the ramp already. This is not going to work out well for Sase. Oh, oh, he doesn't actually fully come down the ramp. Looks like Marine King is expecting some kind of a counterattack, so he's just sitting here defensively. And this will give Sase a slight opportunity, like you said. If he could delay in the natural here for a while, he has that other Nexus out. He could be chrono boosting a lot of his probes back, try and get some of that economy, and really just try and pump out some more. Oh, there he goes, oh. up the ramp, sees that exactly what the Unicomp is. And no, you have to run away now, Sase. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot touch that. And he's actually going to have to be careful because this Banshee if he does it right, can pick off these sentries as they come back to try and redo the force fields. So Sase just needs to buy as much time as he can. He is down 15 supply at the moment. And look at this, yeah, he's leaving a couple here just to try and get those force fields down. Because he needs Sase that immortal to come out. Got turn boosting unstable. He's got full energy and like 50 more at the main and he's not oh. like turn boosting his probes or anything. Oh, we like, might get the raven though. Does back off. That, that banshee getting a little bit, a little bit too ahead of himself. Like, without the chrono boosts or getting his economy back, he's not going to be able to make enough units here to actually stop this. He's well, got one immortal out. Mm. He's wasted.